minutes of our defense. You know, and it, it requires the level that we're playing our defense at, the energy that we're playing with. Okay, we added the third, the third quality of a great, great team, of a championship level team. The third quality was great team defense. But let's attack. You know, we're not, we're not sitting back. That's not how we play. We're, we're, we're taking it at you. We're driving it down your throat. We're attacking the rim. Let's have a great rebounding night. Kevin, you, you, you start us off with that. You know, you start us off with that. You're as good as anybody when you're thinking about doing that. And we need that. You know, don't worry about the score. Worry about playing each possession the right way. He's pretty good. It's not hard to play him, you know what I mean? Like I was just saying. You're playing as individuals defensively. You're not connected. On the free throw line, how many times are they gonna get a rebound on the foul line? Because we don't make contact and hold these guys. We just go like this. We're skipping a step. Guy goes around us, long rebound they got. We're fine, we're right there, but let's, let's put it together right now in the second half with disciplined defense. Okay, everybody's gotta be on the same page to do that. All right, let's go. Come on, hey, that wasn't a huddle. We got a huddle, man. As much trouble as we have communicating, we got a huddle. Way to work. Way to work. You know, to beat good teams, you got to be able to grind. And it takes a level of mental toughness. Individually, and then the communication, that's your glue. That connects you, and then you become tiger tough. As the last most survivor stops his play, and then I still be watching me, watching me. A guy that you probably want to keep outside, make him shoot the jump shot. You can see he's their leading scorer. He likes to get to the basket. A great athlete, Indiana, looking to make him shoot jump shots here tonight. He's got a great drive to the hoop. He'll be the guy Indiana has to stop. Let him take those three pointers. Not shooting well from the three parting lineups in tonight's game. We are back at the Hearn Center at the University of Missouri. Coach I, the Missouri has inside. He has to be big and strong for the Tigers tonight. Quinn Snyder in his first year as the Missouri coach, a Duke 89 graduate. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Ready for action. Lynn Washington goes after that tip. Larry Richardson got to do a better job of calling out that screen is doing. Usually a guy that likes to drive to the bucket, a very excellent tipped away by Soyoye. Up to Gilbert, layup is good, 5 nothing Missouri. Indiana needs to try to continue to pound. Only a sophomore, but he realized it was very important for the, to get on the board. Soyoye, right inside, goes over Richardson. Soyoye, you can see, is a big, strong, and has minutes into the game. He's got to get tougher and stronger with the basketball. That's Cooling. He makes the shot and picks up the foul. He's made both of his field goal attempts tonight. Makes the first one from beyond the three-point line. See a good crossover dribble. Gets him back to the middle. A.J. a little late. Bangs him on the arm off the glass. Here at Missouri, not at that level quite yet. Jump shot by Dillon. It's good. He hits it. That's a three-pointer behind the line. So five steps out. Good call by the official. You can see he's definitely sliding. Definitely not set. Opportunity. 21 is Kareem Rush in the ball game. A shot by Dooling is good, and he's fouled by Michael Lewis. Dooling now four or four from the field. Three of them. Dooling converts the three-point play. 16 to 12 now. That's the rim. He's, he's got to take care of the basketball once he... That's Pat Schumacher. Schumacher beats him down the floor. And now fast break the other way. Two on one, but the follow-up draws good. That's Rush, and the lead now six by the eight defensively. you got to see your ball, the man. you got to do a lot of talking. Shot is good. That's Brower on the outside. He's the good three-point shooter. You see, he's not a very big kid. So Yoye on the baseline lays that one up strong. 
Austin AJ to pull up to his left. Russ fires the three, and he hits that one. Kareem Russ. And the lead is 12 by Missouri. Nobody really picks up Rush. Takes a look. That's the type of team they are. You give them the three-point shot, they're going to take it. And so far tonight, they've been knocking. No team has shot over 40% against Indiana. Another steal by Missouri. Layup by Gilbert. That's nine points off 12 turnovers tonight. And then Indiana keeping them on one side of the floor, really taking the other side away. There's Hornsby for the baseline. But a good move by Johnny Parker. He left hands it in. That's Rush. Green Rush, there's the drive to the baseline. Indiana not able to help, and the reverse layup is in. The lead now six baseline. You can see Kyle Hornsby forces to the baseline. Larry Richardson comes late. Doesn't get him stopped when he gets there. Nice reverse layup by Rush. That's happened through three of them he's had out there. They were pretty wide open. Gage on the rebound. This time it's Brower, and he hits it. Somebody's got to find ground. When a team's going to shoot a lot of three-pointers, there's going to be a lot of long rebounds. It's not necessarily a thing of blockout, but you've really got to get after the basketball. The guards have got to get back into the free-throw line. Woo! I can't believe that he didn't give that one to Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis is doing an excellent job out there playing defense. And Indiana prevents the final basket by Missouri. 37-28. It's Missouri from ESPN+. Plus to the floor, then they drive them hard. Indiana has not been able to help and then recover back, and because of it, Missouri is getting a lot of layups, and that uh, leads to them shooting uh, over 50%. There we got a shot of Norm Stewart, 32 years. He was a coach here at Missouri. There he is in the brown coat. He's probably a little more relaxed than he was when he was coaching here. 731 victories, 375 defeats. He was the seventh winningest coach when he re retired last year. That is Kip Bond. He's a U.S. Senator from the state of Missouri. From any of the big guys. In Missouri really wants to push it up the floor before Indiana's defense can set. Pass inside and count the basket by Sayoye. He hits the shot and draws the foul. He's going to come up the middle here. Good dish. Sayoye uses his strength. Knocks the shot down. So that gets Missouri on the board here in the second half, increases the lead to seven. Now eight, as he converts a three-point play. Missouri's up by four, two. Good job by Haston of being there. Not a very good recovery there because of it, they get two. Gilbert had the open shot for two. Missed the rebound, though, and Missouri has another possession. And a quick shot that time, Kareem Rush, a three-pointer. And that all comes off a of second chance points right there. Shot just a little flat, not a lot of legs in, in those shots. Dueling, outside shot is good, that's a three-point shot. Two three-pointers back to... Take a look at the three-pointer, you can see just not very good recovery. Michael Lewis got screened against a smaller player. Oh, he got pushed terrible right there. I mean, you got three officials standing there looking at it. They almost knocked him down. Leads to a fast break by Missouri and the tip-in by Sayoye as he beats Indiana's big man down the floor. Several loose balls. Three-point shot. That one. That's a big on one. The line. He was on the line. Two-point shot. Two. Bust it all the way in. Jimenez. Three-point shot is in. Big one from the senior. It is 50. Excellent block right there. They call the travel. Indy. Rather than chasing the basketball around, you can see they're kind of playing almost a little shell right there. They've been helping out much better as Dewey able to knock that shot down. He's been a real thorn in the Hoosiers' side here tonight. Sure, he's done a good job of finding A.J. Guyton all night. That time they lost him. Gilbert matches it at the other end. Clarence Gilbert. Hits a three-pointer. A.J. Guyton. And good screen that time. Leaves Gilbert open. He hits another three. This one from the corner. Indiana making a run, but not going to do it. See him lower left part of your screen. Newton keeps 
Oh, Missouri in good move as Newton forced Kareem Rush back to the right side of the floor. Let's look at that last basket by Gilbert. See, good penetration. You can see the big man steps out and sets a, a good screen. Schumacher right there does his... Nothing he can do about that. He got to where he needed to be knocked it away. Rush was in the right place at the right time. Rush hits the free throw. He's well above that tonight. And the second rolls in. It's a two-point Missouri lead. Brian Brower checks in for Rush. Four seconds left. Dooling. He'll try a three. He missed it, and that's it. Indiana, a hard-fought victory, 73-68. They defeat the Missouri Tigers, and Indiana moves to 5-0 on the season. Missouri drops to 5-2. Bob Knight picks up his 748th career victory, 646 of them at Indiana University. There's a wave to the crowd as Bob Knight heads for the locker room. Kirk Haston with 17 points. A.J. Guyton had 16. Michael Lewis had 13 over him, but that was the, that, that's the attitude he needs to come with. And that's the end of the game. Final score, India. And Digger Phelps, a seven-game winning streak right now for Kansas, but keep this in mind. The last three times that Kansas was ranked in the top ten and went to Missouri, they lost. You got that right, but Iowa State's the only team to beat Missouri in the conference on the road, but Quinn Snyder on a three-game winning streak, today a key factor for Missouri. Kenyon Dooley has got to do better than the last two games shooting six for 25. This is going to be a war. All right, we're going to see it at halftime of that. ABC's NCAA basketball presented by Payne Weber. And this afternoon from a jam-packed turn center in Columbia, Missouri, it's the number eight ranked Kansas Jayhawks come calling against the Missouri Tigers. And not a seat to be had in this one. This one all they won to 88. Kansas leads it, but the teams have split. The series, the last four years. That ball is going to go to Boshi, and it'll be... Pulls down the rebound. Gilbert at the other end. Let's see if he starts it off. Yes, he does. The same way he's been attacking it. And now you got to get it. The game, interestingly, last week here at home against Hastings. That is good again as time dueling. But the confidence that they're gaining is the thing that's apparent to me. So, yeah, yeah. Gilbert again, and he had it just as you said. Had a hand stepping out. Gilbert leans, gets his own foul. Why Clarence Gilbert has become an effective and better ball player offensively, Ron, he can bomb it down. Collison guarding Dooling. Dooling expecting to go one on one. Puts up the three. of seven from the field, four of four beyond the three-point line for the Tigers. Boshi quiets the crowd with a three of his own. Well, he is a Justin Gage. Parker. Well, good standstill shooter. Very good spot-up shooter when he gets his feet set by both teams here. A couple minutes without a hoop. Paper. That's a strong move. Working against Luke Axtell. Nice job. Paper gets a good, quick first step against Connelson. Fakes it, scores it. He'll have a chance for a three-point play. Well, you can tell the style that they attack the defense. This time, Hafer splits the seam. The good two feet plant. Control with his body and then off the glass. Rebound, and he has delivered so far this first half. Gilbert suspends, kisses it off the glass, and he's got double figure. And takes, you want to give your team some energy. And Kansas needs something in a hurry. Nice job as Chenoweth got caught cheating up just enough. By Hafer, there's your guy. Gilbert spreads the floor back to Dooling. No look pass. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a performance. Setting the crowd off. The no-look pass inside, finished by Shante Johnson is the man who uh, got set. And take a look defensively how he steps in there, takes it. Gilbert back to Hafer. He's got dueling. Good, quick first step back to Grower. Three. Good by Parker. The penetration off the dribble. It has been a uh, thorn in the side of this Kansas defense. Good steal. Showtime. Dueling. 
Six points for him. Keon Dooling, one of the Marauders leading the attack. Dooling, great look inside. How do you beat a zone and draw it up? There it is. Gilbert and Grout. 11 seconds difference between the shot and the game clock. Good look inside to Parker. That is a great pass again by Dooling. And a good finish. A little lean in by Parker. Seven seconds. Crowd is up. Gregory way outside. Couldn't get it to go. And remember this. When leading at halftime, Missouri is 8-1. and one. And as they head to the locker room, it is the Missouri Tigers 37. And the 8th rank join the Autobytel.com halftime report right after this. 7 to 26 they lead and one of the reasons Clarence Gilbert he is four of seven from the field but in the first three and a half minutes today he already had ten points one of his three pointers today and with the ten points at halftime he has dished out two assists probably the biggest disappointment for Roy Williams as you look at the numbers by the Tigers 52 percent from the field overthrown and here comes Gilbert showtime early for him Kansas wanted a good start. You take it to the rim. He plays above the rim. If he gets close, you might as well foul him. 38% free throw shooter. Pay for it. Close, you might as well foul him. 38% free throw shooter. Pay for it. Smaller and quicker has been better than bigger and slower. And Collison out defensively cannot stay with Jeff Hafer. Hafer goes right around him and then finishes. For the next formation point. This early on in the conference season. Snyder trying to get the basketball to Gilbert on the wing against Bochy. There goes the three, and Gilbert's got it. Man, simple catch and re Gregory. Wow. Holy smoke. The crowd wanted a walk, but I think Hawk defense has picked up the pace. Not many open looks. Can't give it to him, though. Gilbert for another three. 18 for him. You've got with the basketball, so they can't run a screen roll against him. He's off balance, falling away, and still hit not He hit. I think both even got, gave him a shove, and it was still on that. Here he comes. Might as well, huh? Are you kidding me? You will not find many exhibitions better than this one shooting the basketball. And on top of that, not only was the shot just no conscience, third pass is something. On him, the slight push in his body. This guy can get on a roll. He had 12 straight points when they made a comeback against Illinois. He had 12 straight points up in Iowa State when they made a comeback. He talks about their offense. Gilbert again. Five in a row. I couldn't believe it. Five in a row. Five straight. Career high for him. Well, there are times that uh, some things can make you a good coach or strategies, but what really makes you a good coach, Ron, is when a guy gets hot and gets on a roll. And Gilbert with 27 is uh, making Quinn Snyder look like one of the <laughs> I'm telling you. It was a give and go. Soyaye scores over Gooden. Might as well add an, add an assist to the Gilbert working against Gregory. Rauer for three. And the beat goes on. Dooling at the other end. And an offensive foul called on him. Well, Dooling tried to make a statement with that one. He tried to dunk on about three guys. A little smirk and a smile by Quinn Snyder. You do not mind guys that are aggressive to the hoop. Max still steps in there and takes one. And as far as the calls, that's tip for tap. New Jersey's here to go. Well, he switched the second one. American All-Stars are one of hockey's great traditions. The NHL All-Star game right here on ABC. Brower, 91%. Try to get him to the foul line. If they're leading. Surprising his truth. You take a look at his father, Rich, former assistant. Without Gilbert in. Justin Gage, not that great outside shooter. Good athlete. Likes to go to the basket. There he goes. Well, 
interesting young man that became the starter at quarterback late in the year, tossed a couple of touchdown passes in the AM game. He brings athleticism and strength. Well, the they, they took the red shirt off him in football last three weeks, and then when football was over, and Quinn Snyder yeah, comes to the line. And the Tigers have been successful at holding that 10-point number. Free throw line. Everything has come from the field today. Well, and it's really been the uh, three-point line. 11 yep. of 22, you shoot 50% beyond. Yeah. Tough afternoon. Hey, and those happen in this game. Right. Best thing about the game, though, after this. Taken away by Grauer. Soyaya. Offensive rebounding. This time the Tigers. It to the rim, Gage another touch, and then Johnny Parker with the easy finish. And then on the defensive end, Justin Gage steps in again, makes a steal, and here's Grauer on the foul. Talk about the wrong. Knocked them both on. 18 points. Soyaya. Pass right on the money from Parker. Quickly as yeah. possible. Available because of his uh, right arm. I mean, the yeah. right wrist. He's fine there. I don't, it doesn't look like he's probably moved too much. But uh, if they don't, Baylor, this Tiger team, consistently hit free throws down the stretch to win that game. Ten points now for Dooling. This Tiger team has simply been a step quicker and more aggressive to all the balls today. Thin to it. Solid screen. Looks for a score 27 points. 7 of 10 from outside the arc. But it's Bob Hope, Desert Classic. He's up next as Soya Ye will lay it back in. 43 seconds left, and this is the largest lead. In seconds. They'll count it off. That one away for Quinn Snyder. Huh, Ron? First uh, time he's been in the border war. The Missouri Tigers have upset the eighth ranked Kansas Jayhawks and done it convincingly 81 to 59. Bob Hope Desert Classic is up next. Again, our final score is 81 to 59 Missouri. This has been a presentation of ABC in association with ESPN. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. For John Sunbold, Rob Franklin saying so long from Columbia, Missouri. Mention his father, co-owner of the St. Louis Rams. So, you think about that. Here's a kid who was a ball boy playing now. He might not even have been born when you played. Officials now can look to television monitors for a replay. Last second shots, both at the end of the first half and at the end of regulation. Goes off the buzzer, not off the clock. Well, and they could never use it on, on the judgment call of that. Exactly. So, and now they've changed that rule. Most coaches wanted that change. Only the second time that the NCAA has changed the rule. Gage with two big free throws against Baylor earlier this year. That's and King, the two lefty freshmen. Oh, rush. A little spin move. Welcome back to Missouri uniform. Spin move. You know, look at T.J. Soye, though. He makes a block out so that Aaron Jack can't come over. Yeah. Well, now it gets difficult. They've kind of had a favorable schedule in Big, Conf in Big 12 Conference play. Cronkey with another three-pointer. And you mentioned now they travel. Colorado just reaching in and stealing a rush. Ian Cronkey on the fly. A behind-the-backer. Wow. A lot of times you kind of lose track of what you need to do defensively, and that's been the knock on him right now, has been the defensive end, but he has come up big here for Missouri. Dueling blocked that shot very nicely and regained the lead. Nebraska has led most of the game, led by as many as 11. Dueling pulls the trigger on a three. Nothing but bottom of the net. He just, you know, the thing of Dion Dueling has other ideas. Watch a little hesitation move. Nice pick by T.J. Soyoye, and the help is a little bit late. You see the average there by Missouri, nine again. In fact, you don't replace him. I mean, there, there's no replacing Norm Stewart. Long jumper by Davison wouldn't fall. The rebound to Rush. And do. Dueling having trouble after picking up the dribble. Grower open for three. That's huge. 
Third three of the second half for Grout. Dueling connects. Let's take a look at our best play of the game brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. And Brian Grauer having a big day for Missouri. 11 points. Doesn't sound like a lot of points, but he has hit. Grauer hits the free throw. He was hoping 24 points in the first half, but scored 44 here in the second. Hard to catch. And he made one of two, so the lead increases to six. Two possession game, but he missed it. One more coming for Grower. Got the second, and the lead is seven. Face at the very least, at the very most, you want to deny him the ball. Gilbert hits the free throw. He's had a tough day from the auto game and hit two big shots at the end, and now he hits two clutch free throws to increase the lead for Kamani Friend to go to work. You know, those two guys take up a lot of space. Stephon Bradford has a great first half with Friend sitting on the bench in the shadows. Missouri has scored 56 points here in the second half. 57 now as Gilbert hit them both again. Hard to, you know, they dug down deep and brought out the victory. Gilbert hits one of two. Four different players from Missouri in double figures. And the lead seven as Cohorn fires from long range and hits. That was from his hometown in Minden. And Friend whips Grower to the floor. Well, it's one thing to foul. It's another thing to do that. And Brian Grower shows you a little bit about his demeanor at six foot going running after six foot 11. Kamani Friend, Danny Need telling him, you know, hey, a reaching foul is okay. Don't grab him. Conference play. And he's become the Brian Grower that we saw finish third in the nation in three-point shooting a year ago. Well, he has to, to to win a game. He's tough-minded. He's confident. Steps up. He wants to take the big shot. He wants to make the defensive play. He's got to like this Missouri team. Really a tough, competitive team. And the Missouri Tigers run their winning streak to seven in conference play as they rally from 11 down in the first half to beat Nebraska. 84 to 78 the final. Missouri goes to 7 and 1 in league play. For the Rams. A two game losing streak against a team in Kansas State that has lost 10 in a row. The Tigers lost two at home. Almost 19 points a game, 59% beyond the three point arc. But what he does well and what you like to see is his ability to create shots for himself, the softness of his touch, his ability to rebound. He has been effort day in, day out. Coaching staff talked to him before the game, said every day in practice, Tony shows up, expect him to have a big ball game. Well, Kansas State gets first possession. Josh Kim get the start at the point. Go inside as Grower tries to dump it down to him at the baseline. Fires it to Gilbert for three and got it. Well, typical Missouri basketball. Very unselfish. They share the ball. Well, that's an amazing play right there. Looked like he was going up to shoot. Clarence Gilbert delivers the guy who had the three-point land, 10 of 14 from the field. Hafer, quick oh, penetration. Pass. Yeah, down inside to Yoye with a little reverse layup. Table penetration is not that long ago that coaches would tell you don't try to dribble the thing into a zone. Pass the ball. Gilbert. And here comes Miss Hurley now. Gilbert knocking down another one. Nine in the turnover department this year, averaging 20 a game, forcing only 15 and another three. Well, bombs away, huh? Boy. Gilbert's three for three from three points. There it comes. Now he handed it off down his dead and now three on the shot clock and guess who Kareem Rush off the bench boom a bucket and what a start for this Tiger team five of six from the field for Yoye surprising he did not go right up with the basketball now after the double team patient enough to find the open man Kareem Rush continues his hot shooting 63 percent for the last six games out with it Gilbert dueling from the corner and good and Missouri is on fire from the three-point line Wow, how about five? They've got to get shots on the offensive floor, but Missouri has come out with a flourish. Everybody's spotting up, shooting the ball. This time it's dueling for his first shot of the night or the afternoon and knocks it home, and you see the Tiger travel to Manhattan. Rush knocks the free throw down, a 79% shooter. John, think about this. Patience, 384 possible points. Well, you, it says a lot about their records, too. Rush gets them both. He has four points now. Points of ball game. Kansas State not getting much done on offense, not finding good shots. 
From the deep corner, that's Josh Kroenke knocking it down. When it rains, it pours. Six straight. From so Yoye having trouble with the catch. Still 20 on the shot clock. Kareem Rush. Speaking of Phil, does he remind you of him a little bit? Unbelievable. <laughs> that is amazing. Certainly, maybe some things do, but from the exterior, I mean, he can simply catch it, the release, right on target again. For Suyoye, young man from Lagos, Nigeria, played at Meridian, Mississippi Community College, where he was a Juco All-American. Pattern his staff trying to calm him down at times. It's usually not, it's both. not negative emotion, it's just kind of a burst here. As much of it in practice, Tom Asbury's been able to use it in game situations. <laughs> How about the ball movement right there? Four. And Rush knocks down the three. Crisp passing. Ball does not, that ball does not stay in someone's hand. Coming off the bench, that is. And Rick Barnes really thinks he, Maneki gets a better whistle. Four on the shot clock. Wild shot. Rush gets a wide open look and drills it. Right at the buzzer, too. Now the penetration off the dribble. Look at the defense. Has to adjust good passing and that is the guy you want to find Kareem Rush 14 points already Tiger players on the floor welcome a zone defense because of their quickness their ability to handle the ball pass the ball and open I'm not sure they can cover a man for man out on exactly the right or anybody else for that matter early on they were getting dueling it's a 10-point lead and Gilbert just changed that back to a 13-point mark if they lower them down as they are here that's that's a danger Dueling takes it right into the middle of the zone, and guess what? When the hands are up and spread out wide, the zone looks big inside. Now he's got a little five, six foot jump shot. Good hesitation. Good touch. And when Missouri does this, Fred, and those of you who watch the NCAA tournament, Missouri, if they get in, and the way they're playing, they probably will. When they shoot it like this, those are things. Yeah. Dueling. Going to pull up and fire and get it. Keep on dueling with his second throw. Taking some time at the free throw line. Never really instilled confidence in the guy watching the guy shooting the free throw. Well, take a look at Keon Dooling. Defense is standing there. He kind of points, wants the screen to roll, which Missouri runs a lot that way. Well, so yeah, he took a lot of time, but he knocked them both down. Now, so from the deep corner, that's Kroenke knocking down his, doing what Missouri has done so well today, knocking down the tray. We'll be back for the last 18 seconds of the first half starts the move. Well, the hot guy has been Kenyatta Dix. Groves will take it by himself, though. And get it off the left. Cortez Groves gets the shot down. And at halftime, Kansas State still in the ball game, down by 11 to a red-hot shooting Missouri team. Groves closes out with his eighth point of the half, and it's 48 to stay here in Bramlage Coliseum. So it's still a ball game in Manhattan. We have a half to go right now. 59%, four or five for three-point land, and you're down 11. When you go across and take a look at the three-point field goals by the... Yeah, good move. He had it right at the rim. And the answer at the other end, Grower could break your heart with a three after you run your stuff well and can't the first half. They were all dropping in a little bit. In the lane, Keon Dooling on top. Finished that with the left, didn't he? He and Ru Mark Fox, an assistant coach, trying to calm Hal down. And now Grower, percent shooter. That percentage right there this year. Or Back out front, Dooling flashes into the circle, fires it down to Schumacher, who lost it, and now got it back. It was going to be goaltending anyway. Give the bucket to you're having a bad ankle. Jeff Hafer, you're talking about then. Reed's foot has not healed. He's still bothered by that shoot, though, Fred. Yeah, I'm sitting there number five. No, they never let me uh, shoot the ball. Yeah. <laughs> 79 for 80. <laughs> and that is by the fact you play more those minutes. Stats? I don't know who finds all those stats. Is that a nice looking stroke? Well, he's smooth. Yeah, he is smooth. Here comes Mizzou. Dueling saw the path to the bucket and jammed it. He has four. Dueling saw the path to the bucket and jammed it. He has 14. Turn the corner, take it home. Woo! And Dueling's become a good lead guard for his team. Does a lot of things, has been patient. 
As he hesitates, take a look at the hole. He's got Soye on the left, but there's nobody to help out high above the rim. When he saw Leonard turn his head, he was gone, wasn't he? Well, the thing with Keon is so have not been able to chip away at this lead far enough. Hafer gets it down low and the bucket good. Give it up in the season for Tony Kidd if he gets another rebound in this game. So Yoye, wide open, banks it off. Nice speaking of soft touch by Brower with dueling on the sideline. From the baseline, Gilbert. And a big tip by Soyoye, and he has 10. Huge bucket for Missouri. Second foul on Buchanan, dueling on the line. Two for two today. Now has 15 points. A shooter, 79% though in conference play. And the free throw makes it a 10-point ball game with 3.53 to play. We'll be back for the closing minutes. Of the wing. Watch him turn the corner. Joe Leonard turns his head. When he turns it back, it's a little too late. One-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter. Dueling fires to Grower from the deep corner. And the dagger in the heart, perhaps, for Kansas State. The value. Grower did not shoot the first half. Second half, two of five from three-point line. 2.45 to five for six today, excuse me. Play. Rush gets them both down, and the Mizzou lead is 11. Pretty good way to win on the road, isn't it? It really is. So those will change a little bit. And they've held on to that margin. Well, well you are playing well. Everybody's shooting the basketball well, and Brian has struggled a little bit during the season. Grower got them both. They now has to performance again on the road. State. They didn't handle the ball late in that ball game. Great win for Larry Eustace. He's ten points today. Bounces and boom. Three bounces, line it up. Keon went up, and that's why the crowd is responding the way they are. Ken Bramlage, where Missouri has won at 84-74. Six years, dueling exploding for the jam, but wait a minute. Baskets waved off, offensive foul on dueling. Second half. One out of two. Kansas honoring their four seniors. 16 consecutive games they have won on senior day. Look at Kenyon Dooling with a flying dunk, but he got called for charging. And look at him. I can't believe it's not butter. Dooling can't believe it. Welcome to Rock and Allen Fieldhouse here in Lawrence. Unranked Missouri leading 23rd ranked Kansas 25-22. Kevin, who is the Missouri football quarterback, who joined the team in November, late November. Schumacher inside, the junior from St. Louis. Good pass. Kansas City, the loser number six. Both teams will not get a bomb. Gilbert drives on Heinrich. Oh, what a shot by Clarence Gilbert. Heinrich, here comes Grower, his dad. Was at one time an assistant coach for Missouri, Clarence Gilbert. And the tap in is through. It was either Hafer or Rush. Picked up by Boshi. Ahead to Gregory. Held by Hafer. Of the rim, and here is a hard foul. Hard is one term to use, yes. And steals has progressed in his four years. Used to just be a guy with energies, could be negative at times, and he's been positive. How about that one? How deep teammates have to be available. Here comes Rush on the screen from Parker, and a three by Kareem Rush. Can this offense stretch a defense, or what, sure, if it was Rush or Gilbert? Rush the other way in a rush, and on top to Kroenke, a three-point specialist, and he knocks it down. His dad is part owner of the St. Louis Rams. The stand on it, saves it, but right back to Parker, who can't convert. Parker again inside, suffocating Kansas defense, and a foul called on KU. Well, you're always taught never save the ball underneath the opponent's basket. The emotional game, everybody up. Marlon London making sure Johnny Parker does not. A lot like Jeff Hafer. Right. And at the 6566 six, body there, asked by Quinn Snyder to do more things than to be a Snyder national AAU champion. Brian Brower, son of Rich Brower, former St. Louis University coach, assistant. Interesting watching the players jockey for position on this last shot. Expect Clarence Gilbert, who has been dancing around, to come off a couple of screens and just fire. Here comes 
dueling over Heinrich, trying to beat the ball. Oh, Objected by Heinrich. What a play to take him to halftime. An emotional booster for his ball club. Incredible defensive play. Kansas led by the 23rd ranked Kansas on top of Missouri. 45 to 42. We've got a. Hey. <laughs> I think that's a 17 year old kid, probably on both sides there. You know, I cut my own hair back on him. Great fake by Rush. Can't okay. connect. Soyoye is so active inside. Second offensive rebound for the other. Mismatch inside. Hafer can't guard the size and the height. Heinrich took advantage of it, passing it inside. Gilbert with the miss three. And that oh, is a goal ten. bad put. Yep. That's the screen, and he is just shooting straight forward. Motion, Chenoweth from outside. Scoreless until right there. Eric Chenoweth. And into Heinrich, into Chenoweth. Bradford wants the ball against the freshman crowd. Heinrich takes it inside. What a solid afternoon this freshman's. Gilbert to Parker. Parker drives on a Shante Johnson and hits the jump shot. Much needed for Mizzou. Quiet's the crowd. High school player of the year. Again, we told you about his brother who hit the game-winning shot, Jerron Rush, for UCLA. Who did was lost that championship game. Rush for three. Oh, and a big shot by Kareem Rush. Missouri for three. Doolin trying to chisel room. He for outside for three. Another three for Missouri. Now they're within seven. Seven up and run by Missouri, as you just saw. Big basket right now for the Tigers. Hafer takes it, drives on Gregory, and down it goes. It's a five-point game. Hafer's got eight. And season, and he will graduate this May. Hafer again, another three. Oh! Hafer's an assassin from outside. He's hit three in a row in the second half. Gilbert for three. Rebound, Collison knocks it right to Rush. He puts it in for two. Right place, right time. Yep. Feet drug the stationary foot. Should have been trapped. Tough hoop. That play. is a difficult hoop. The crowd has come alive. Gilbert with London on him. Big shot by Clarence Gilbert of Missouri. Good move by London to make Gilbert put it on the for 10. Hafer for three. And that senior says, I'll try it the other end. And Hafer not known for his three point. Second half, 18 seconds left, Missouri by one. Kansas is Drew Gooden. It's going to be fouled by Jeff Hafer. It's ruled an intentional foul. Gooden would convert the free throws. It was Kansas by three, seven seconds left. So Missouri has one last shot. Dueling, it's going to have an off-balance three here. Not a chance. Clarence Gilbert. Gilbert, the putback, and that's not enough because Nick Bradford would celebrate the victory for Kansas and they find a way. On a day to honor Jayhawk seniors, two freshmen ice the win. Drew Gooden and Snyder sends them out like this. Keon Dooley, Clarence Gilbert, and the freshman Kareem Rush. What a player he has become for Missouri and another three. The scoring potential, they'd love to run the Red Raiders out of this one and they'd like to do it early. Yesterday in a day full of practices here, Missouri had the most energetic practice and they had a crowd. Kareem Rush lost the handle, picks it up. So Yoye knocks down a shot about at the edge of his range, I think. Well, he averages just over nine points per ball game. 11, but he can operate down in the paint with quickness. Dooling, nice work. A little hesitation move, kind of setting up the defense, and once he saw that, his hands and away from the lane. And then Keon Dooling, long, rangy point guard. Gilbert shots up, won't go, rebound, Coye. Gilbert again, this time for three. Youngster is not shy. He could miss three or four shots. He's ranked as a shooter the next time. Texas Tech worked on yesterday is getting a hand in the face of the three-point shooter. They know for Down low, Sayoye faces it. Nothing there for it. Rush. That's a three. Rush only 44% in our first half. Missouri by six in the early going. Try to dish to Dueling, and they caught it. Didn't look like that pass was there. But Parker did, and the Tigers pushed the ball up the floor. They like to penetrate and pitch it back out on the perimeter. There's Hafer inside. Count the bucket. He was fouled. 
Missouri, a three-point shooting team. They're two for four from behind the arc tonight. Haper makes the three-point play. Dickey did not. Brian Grower, a 91% free throw shooter for the year from Texas Tech. Grower on target to break both his school and the conference record for free throw, free throw percentage, 91%. Thought somebody was in a spot they weren't. Now dueling, good. That's a two. A lot of picks out on the perimeter for the Missouri guards to free them up. Texas Tech trying to find a way back in it. Missouri up by 10 at this spot. Dueling working from the first possession for Missouri. A little hesitation setting up the defense right there. Flashing to the middle of the floor. Again to the middle of the floor. Off the dribble. Loading one-hander. No. Dueling moving without the ball. And off the glass. And then finally coming across the top of the pick. They catch the shot. He is 3 of 5 from the field. Leads all scores. Has a half a dozen right now. 15 to 6. And Rayford Young has 4 of those 6 for Tech. So Yoye down deep that he won. Oklahoma, Missouri to round out the quarterfinals of the Phillips 66 Big 12. Southwestern Bell. And first of all for Missouri, Kareem Rush, great freshman, co-freshman of the year in the Big 12. He has been in double figures every game since his suspension. 16 straight. As far as Oklahoma is concerned, J.R. Raymond is the guy that makes them go. And in the Missouri game earlier this year, he scored 20 points. Now the Dodge keys to the game. One four and row rush one of the promising young stars of this league and it's missouri and they're roadblock they've got the ball watch him back working into soyoye tries to shoot it up over renzai stone and he does it good start though oklahoma can live with that first year he's had 18 and 11 18 wins in his first year including texas tech in last night's game 80 to 47 they done here we go one of the matchups that we'll be looking at quite closely today. The point guards, Raymond and Dooling. J.R. Raymond contributing more. It's not just Nahara anymore. Yeah, and Eduardo, a good thing for him, is kind of worn down as the season's going on, but able to take a few breaks off the last few ballgames. Jeff Hafer with a nice move. Uh, excuse me, uh, Ryan Miner. And now it's Eduardo Nahara. And how about that move? They're on their feet for Missouri as Hafer takes it strong. Price again, quick feet on the ball. Gilbert gets free and he hits one. Well, we've watched Clarence Gilbert all season. Degree of is in this one. He has four of their points. Uh, Hafer, the senior, I've always compared him a lot like Stevie Johnson at Iowa State. Does all the little things. Not a big stat guy, but can score for you. Solid defender. Nahara uh, off the block. And you see Nahara in his career in the top ten in both rebounds and points. And a technical foul call. And I think probably purposeful. Yeah, I do too. Well, I just said he, he was almost urging one on earlier and thought he should have had one. He was up to half court and finally it had enough. Well, any coach would say at this point, Oklahoma shot 12 free throws. Missouri has not been on the line at all. We'll see if the Tigers can ignite behind young Quinn Snyder. Eduardo knocks that one in, and now Kelly Newton gets it on Hafer when he thought Hafer was bumped. Probably has an argument on that. I, I agree with you. Nine-team foul. And this was while they were shooting free throws. He's still upset. Let he finally up. got it. Back to the passion. Young man is used to winning. As a player, as a coach, as an assistant, I should say, he wants some energy in his ball club. When a coach does that, does it really fire you up as a player, John? <laughs> yeah, you hope so, free throw shooter. Here's the problem. You pick up your dribble, Missouri overplaying all the passing lanes. Justin Gage, terrific athlete. Goes strong to the basket. Now he'll go to the foul line, but make him earn him. Gage, 50% from the line, but hasn't been there all that often. Hit two clutch and one three-pointer, Missouri 05. Yeah, Nahara is 0 for 4 from the field, and all of them new Missouri record for free throw percentage in the year. Pretty automatic, isn't it? Yes, he is. Kids to copy it. Dueling picked his pocket. Well, the crowd now is into this one. Boy, Heskett really gets after it. Gilbert for Clarence Gilbert. All improved team. Has to take it to the rim. Either dunk it or try to dunk it. Soft touch, huh? Boy, sure is. What a talented youngster this guy is. Kareem Rush, 317. Boy, that was 
Anderson. Aaron air ball, but it worked out for Missouri as Gage gauged it right. Well, how often do you see an air ball usually go back? Oh, you beat Mizzou's 83-57. Worst loss of the year. 57% from the field, 52% from the three-point line. Unstoppable in some of their bogus. He's one of those freshmen that doesn't. Nahara had it blocked. Turn his sight. Let's take a look from the weak side defensively. Who makes the block? I believe it's Keon Doolin. Nahara's going to work, get good low post position. Right here, he thinks he's got an easy hoop. Look where Keon comes from. Nice. He was guarding Price, left Price to come in for the block. Got it, tied, rush again. Dueling throws it up off the glass, count it, and he's fouled. Hesitation dribble. Watch him go once, then he'll go again. Got Johnson leaning one way, took him inside, used the body control high off the glass. Johnson with two fouls, and Missouri with their first lead of the ball game. Two difference between the game clock at six and a half or five and a half. Shot clock only had three when they took it out. Haskett throws it up as the horn sounds, the end of the first half. A rugged first half. Eduardo Nahara, just one basket. Nahara, though, with eight rebounds. And Oklahoma closes with this basket and an 8-0 run. The studio's coming up next. Missouri, 33-26. An intense battle, the most intense of the Big 12 tournament so far. Now Jeff Hafer got an early start for this Tiger team. He had four points in the first half, two of five from the field. Clarence Gilbert only one of six from the field. That was his one. He was 0-3 three from three-point land. And for Oklahoma, Tim Heskett came in off the bench. His only shot, his conversion right there. Eduardo Nahara, we talked about the ones he missed inside. He missed some right point blank. This is the only one he made, one of eight from the field. The last game of this first day, and we look at the numbers from that first half brought to you by Buick. Now, big difference in this ball game from the foul line, but notice Missouri three-point field goal shooting 0 of 9. Last night, they were sorry. They're only down 7. That may be. I think both teams had stuff to be happy about and stuff to be sad about after one half. Well, maybe that'll get them going. Well, good start for the Tigers and for Clarence Gilbert. We have seen if he makes one, he may make four or five in a row. You want to show a hand maybe to the side of him, but don't crash into the bottom. And so far, he is the Missouri offense of the second half. He scored five. And just like that, Gilbert on a 6-0 run all by his lonesome. Now one point back in his way in. Has not taken a shot since the first one of the ball game that he made. Will the basket count? Probably wipe that off. The foul on Rush, no basket. The rebound from the wing. That won't go. Who's got it? Rush! Some body spot. Oh, yeah. Justin Gage, it's all about position and finding a way to keep Nahara from getting there. Now, does he sell the call right here? Watch. Right there. Does he sell the call? Yeah, I wouldn't think so. He sold it after that happened. I don't think they'll give it to him then. Then all of a sudden, he got hooked. Another one. Nahara creating havoc. Parker. They're calling it differently this half. Well, trying to... Good steal. Good steal by Grauer, all by himself. Smart play, shot the gap. Oklahoma has run the same thing the last three times. Oh, I love the emotion. I do, too. These kids are going at each other. Great pass from Dooling. Oh, this is fun now. A couple fouls himself. Does not play very much. Nah, oh, that's 
ripped it. down. That is a that's a flagrant foul. That is an awful foul right there. Nah, oh, oh, that's ripped it. down. That is a that's a flagrant foul. That is an awful foul right there. Gilbert's got to be careful. He'll be tossed out of this ball game. He could be tossed out of this ball game. Technical now on Johnson. And Johnson trying to step in and protect his player. Clarence Gilbert literally could be thrown out because of that. Yeah. That was a flagrant. You cannot foul. do what he did. You know what's interesting about this, Dave? This is Eduardo's type of game. Here's what's going to happen, the way I believe it, is that Nahara will shoot the free throws from the foul. Then Oklahoma will get to shoot the free throws for the flagrant foul, right? And then they get the ball back. But then the technical foul, Missouri will shoot those. And then the arrow will determine who gets the ball. Yeah, Nolan Johnson picked up the Take a look. Here's the rebound. And now just the throw. Probably nice of the referees leaving Clarence Gilbert in this ballgame, honestly. Now, this is a pushing, shoving match. When you're smaller, it is no fun. Garden Eduardo Nahara. The hold and... Now Johnson, you see him running in there? Yep. Uh, surprising miss. Surprisingly misses the free throw. I said shoot extra for the flagrant foul. No. You right, get the two free, you get two free throws. Normally in that situation, you would also get the ball. But in this case, because of the technical, Brower shoots the two technical free throws. He hit one of the ruling now. <laughs> Finally got it right. Good move. Dueling. And it's tied again. Down low. Newton lost the handle. It goes out of bounds. Off of Newton. It'll belong to the Tigers. The men in black are coming alive. The Tigers clawing their way into it. Back after this a chance for Missouri to cast that into three points. Gilbert coolly comes right back and hits a two. Good solid play. They can't shoot it. Price had a deflect that gets it back. Tries a three hoop. and nails it. Tough hoop. Dooley blocked the pass. Hollis stayed with it. Nobody came out. Good open shooter. Another basket. Gilbert. Well, that little flagrant foul has fired him up. He calmly nails it. So they will continue to put pressure on the outside, try to make Missouri throw it in and score for the inside. Good move by Dooley. Dooley driving in. And do it. Over to the line. We'll get the bonus for Sid. Good second half for players. Nails them both. And again, it's Mizzou by one. Creates this all by himself. Splits the defense. Picks up the foul. Clarence now eight of eight from the foul line. Pointers in last night's game doing the damage from the line in this one. He's got nine points from the strike. Three-pointer, got it! Good spot-up shooter. His 14th tray of the year. Newton, a tough guy right in his face. He was, Grower was right there. That was almost spectacular. Good hustle by Parker. Grower for three. See Sampson talking with Newton saying that wasn't a very smart for the front. So that's just as good as a miss. He'll probably get on a big string and make a bunch. In the first half, no one could hit. In the second half, it seems like no one can miss. Threes raining at Kemper Arena. And we've got a ball game. Come back with us after this from your friends at Phillips 66, a performance company. And Raven need to come off some screens and find their own shots. Celia hits one of two and a two-point Tiger lead and man team. Well, things have changed in the last month for the Super Bowl Club. They have not had to rely on Nahara getting 25 points and 15 rebounds. Now what happens is Johnson has to be careful in the offensive end. Because when he does go to the basket, if he leaves his feet. Conversation on that line. Dueling calmly hits them both. And again, the Tigers by two. Shooter during conference play, so has picked up the pace. By the way, that 
the Stones for it. Who's in foul trouble? Well, you name them, you've got them. With Nahara now. Dueling hits them both. Every possession will matter now. Nahara to give up a little bit with four fouls. And how about that for a freshman? Oh, well, that's a finish. Yeah. Good stop. Nahara's going to pick up his fifth. He sure is. Tough for that kind of a player to play with four personal fouls. Always wants to be involved in the action. Good defense by the Tigers, and here comes Eduardo over the top. Kelvin Sampson not happy. Nahara, double o of two. He is scoreless on this ballgame. Surprising. Rush. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Raymond puts up his third field goal attempt. Big it's time. Huge. Huge. Who shot JR? Well, that time it was Raymond with a big three. Gilbert tries to answer and does. I've got one for you, huh? Oh. Been. Well, he has been guarded well and tightly. This time they gave him some space. Two Tigers jump in his face, but he answers. Oh. The DeSouter bench applauds to give his ball club a one-point lead, and then Clarence Gilbert, the guy who can shoot it in from anywhere, locks one in to the Tigers by two. Price, a little short, tipped in by Johnson. Tied at 70. Offensive board once again. Quinn Snyder wants a timeout. 39 seconds to go. We'll switch a lot of the screens. Dueling lost the handle, but he's fouled. Dueling will be able to go to the line. Good spin. Five of five from the line. Watch the explosion right here. The reach in by J.R. Raymond. The whistle. That gives the Tigers the lead. Calmly nailing them both. And a timeout for Oklahoma. With a small lineup, they, they must block out. Avila has four or five inches on the top. Price with it. Only four seconds. Price puts it up. He's fine. And the clock continues to run. They've got to shut that thing off. Hollis Price is going to go to the basket. Hafer tries to draw contact. He does. Call the block. Calmly hits one. Coach cannot do anything, can he? Just Not stand anything. and watch. Stand and hope. Wow. wow. I'll tell you what, give the kid a lot of credit. Boy, give Hollis Price a lot of ball. Justin Gage, who is a quarterback for Missouri Tiger football team, will throw it in bounds. We'll see if he finds his receiver. At the buzzer, would have counted. Rush, though, a little bit wide of the target. So we go to overtime. First overtime ever in the Big 12 tournament in the history. Oh, I gotta get my breath. All right, <laughs> let's all catch our breath. Missouri and Oklahoma they in regulation here we go overtime and it's Missouri with a basketball Dilling, I, I think he was almost taking it as a personal challenge with price good patience on the offensive end dueling got it Huge basket for Keon Dooling. His last five minutes have been terrific. Rush changed from right to left. Oh. 
is on the bench. And Celia Crowned him trying to deflect the pass from going to the right side. Oh. No strong side help and the emotion from both players. Avila and TJ Celia. Take a look at this move. This is a left hander. Goes to his right, goes back to his left hand, shooting hand. Good finish. Remember the basket by Avila. He hit one of he hit uh, missed the free throw. Excuse me. Chance for it to be a four point possession. Rush gone. 13 points, nine rebounds. So Johnson at the line to try to take Gilbert for three. Newton's got the rebound. Well, Chance for the Sooners to take this, the lead. Probably the Gilbert two of ten from three point range. Johnson a running one hander. What a tough shot that was. Well, what a second half he has put together. 21 now on the night. Dueling. He's fouled. Newton with the foul. Oh, don't do that. No. The dueling has been automatic. He has eight of eight from the line. 20 points for Keon Dueling. Gilbert, one of the best on ball defenders in the Big 12 on Nolan Johnson. Oh, wide open. He's a great shooter. Newton can't leave a three. It. Cannot leave him. Left him wide open. They bought the ball fake. He thought twice about taking the shot and did for the dueling. Watch for Clarence Gilbert. He can fire from all angles. Dueling found a triple team. Ball on the floor. It went off of Price and out of bounds. Missouri will get another crack, but only eight seconds to go. And they take a timeout. Oh, the help they take a look. Lack of communication, two Tigers win for the ball fake. This team, though, Missouri has on the Heels of North Carolina, each team with 18 victories on the regular season. Number eight seed against number nine seed. Already this afternoon, progressing on to the tonight and for Missouri, Quinn Snyder, the rookie coach out in Columbia, was uh, prepped under Mike Krzyzewski, a player for Coach K, and assisted him on the bench for four years. This young man has done a terrific job starting lineup for the Tigers of Missouri. Kareem Rush, that's a familiar name. His brother, Jerron, a sophomore at UCLA. Jeff Hafer. T.J. Soyoye, Florence Gilbert and Kenyon Dooling, Kean Dooling it is, Gilbert and Dooling from Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For Carolina, Jason Capel, a sophomore at 6'8", Chris Lang at 6'11". Look at the size of that front line with Haywood at 7 feet. Ed Cota, clever, senior and Guthridge in his third year after replacing uh, legendary Dean Smith on the bench with Smith for so many seasons in there. Black with gold. Haywood powering over Soyoye, but Missouri controls the tip. This is Keon Dula. And there's the first three-pointer taken by Clarence Gilbert, and Gilbert, a sophomore from Fort Lauderdale, gives the Tigers the 3-0 lead. And life toss in to Haywood and Coda gets it to the big man he gets his own rebound and scores it's 3-2 Missouri every time he gets it inside and keeps the ball up above his head in the post Dueling rush and Gilbert around the perimeter and Gilbert fires again and hits down the bottom of the well it's 6-2 well they're not afraid Capel left alone for three Haywood Offensive rebound, can't put it in, and now does and draws the foul. It's tied at six. Well, there's just nobody that's going to be able to compete with Haywood. The best thing is 11 point run for North Carolina. Gilbert has all Missouri's points, can't hit that three. Or got a move behind the back and the dribble. with another easy basket to break the drought for Missouri and gets the free throw and that ends a 13 on it last year Gilbert was a defensive starter stopper he only averaged four points and this year Quinn Snyder put him right Forte flashing his speed and 
tipped in by Chris Lang. So Lang is 6'10", high above the Missouri Spurs, who is a freshman All-American defensive end. And, and the thing about Justin Cage is also interesting. He has nearly as many fouls as he does points. Can't hit, but there's Peppers to follow it home. Julius Peppers, the football star, has his first point. Gilbert into the lane, and Clarence Gilbert with 10 points, 10 of, here comes Gilbert on the fly. Grower for three. Yes. 19-14 as Brian Grower slow it up. Kareem Rush from outside. He hits the three, and this is Missouri at its best. Trey hunting. First points for Rush, Forte, and Missouri now with a chance to tie, or when you think about them and the threes, they could take the lead, and they do! After a 13-point run by Carolina, Missouri comes roaring back. The Tigers are growling. It turned it into a sprint. Now, they take 26 attempts from behind the arc, and they hit 39% of them. Rush hit the first one, and there's Gilbert, who's been on fire for the lead. Missouri leads by one here in the first half. Well, an interesting uh, hot streaks as Carolina ran off for that's something Carolina can't afford to do is give up offensive board. Keon Dooling, a high kiss off the glass, his first points. Complete contrast outside, although here's a case where Parker slips inside to tie it up at 24. Well, they're finding the gaps within the zone, and they're taking advantage of the man-to-man -man as well. Good cut. Ed Coda, the senior from Brooklyn, New York, makes it 26 a left. A little bit too much overpassing there by Coda. Dooling goes... Coast to coast, it's 29-26. Keon Dooling with four. Parker, cross court. Now the open man is Dooling. They, they are fun to watch. Keon Dooling now with seven. And they keep the really need to get him back in the game to instigate some offense. Rush setting up Parker. Misses the layup, but able to follow in. 38-31. Here are the Tigers. They're hungry for a basket, and they get one from Soyoye. Slipping inside by Hayes. Boye is a player that plays extremely physical. There's no reason why Haywood should give up. There are three from outside the arc. Good pass to Schumacher, and he is fouled by Lang. Chris Lang picks up the foul. And now Missouri starting to get their three-pointers back door. Carolina's looking for the three-point play. Meanwhile, they're going back door. Great cut. Yeah, they're calling the foul from the backside on Joseph Forte, his first. And Schumacher completes the three-point play. Tigers that could take them only four. The dueling with five seconds left. Gilbert steals and fires short. And it will it count? Yes! The first signal is yes, and now the officials look at each other and they're not certain. They're going to have to check. Yes! Missouri, four points in the final 13 seconds to pull within 44-41. After the steal, there's a control. Gage. Oh, it's close. It was close. I think it was good. You saw the official underneath make the call. And Gage for the three-point play and not there. A 53% shooter. But Quinn Snyder, while his team and runs totally outplayed, they battled back. And at the break, it's 44-41. Points of the first half pull within three. Let's get the reaction of their young head coach, Spencer. All right, Coach Quinn, the three ball is falling for you. I guess the big question is, can you stop their big bodies inside? Well, we, we got to make a few adjustments. We're trying to double pick and roll, and, and they're using that to get penetration and break us down. So try to go behind, and I think no matter how many times we tell our kids how big they are, uh, it's a little different playing against that kind of size. we got to rebound the ball. Fair enough. Thank you, Coach. Good luck to you in the second half. And that sounds like Al's of play as we look at the halftime statistics. Missouri trails Carolina by three. Field goal percentage almost identical. Four more three-pointers from the Tigers as he inside. And off the glass is Keon Dooling showing his versatility in the right area. They aren't able to control. Gilbert, good feed to Schumacher. 
Little back door, and the big seven-footer has five points. Well, Hayward came out of... Three sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, he's a there's Haywood. You see him sealing and getting the good position. All he has to do is catch and shoot and dueling surprised everyone. He thought he's going to lay it off the glass and booyah down the pipe. What was that? A booyah. Booyah. Huh? That's what we call it when we see this uh, in a battle tonight. Oh, Ooh, what a move inside by Kareem Rush. What a family, Jerron. And North Carolina history, number 1,000, his seventh tonight. Haywood says, thank you. Showed it to him in the first half, but it was just too much Haywood. There it is from Clarence Gilbert. And Gilbert now with 15 points, his biggest deficit staring at Missouri. And... Fine move by Kareem Rush, the freshman. Brower. Rush for three. Kareem Rush with a desperately needed three-pointer for Missouri, and it's six. Under control, avoiding the charge, and always getting a clear shot. Pat Schumacher, the seven-foot sophomore, off the bench with seven points. He doesn't have any, any big people. Has some good guards on this club. It's got to mean something. Turnover, and Parker produces his sixth point. It's And so is the North Carolina team with a 13-point lead. And Missouri continues to misfire from outside and get an easy one inside from Sioye. As much as he tried, there's no match for, for, for Haywood. Oh, my! As Coda puts a little frosting up there for Haywood, who fires down his 28th point of the game. And Carolina and the fans uh, celebrate. They are going to get ready for the Stanford Cardinal. A minute and a half to go. North Carolina, the seven-footer with 28 points, a career best. In South Carolina State, and it would be the upset of upsets if Stanford didn't win that game. But there's some terrific stories on down to 24 Jet Paper. And uh, uncontested, the easy lay-in for Justin Gage. And we've seen that quite a bit this afternoon. Baseline out of bounds. Giving up the easy button. Kenji Stevenson, two points. That matches his season total. The walk-on. Dakota. <laughs> he's tough to trap. Uh, he's a little currently nil. Marcus Haynes out there. A little punctuation mark with a behind the back pass and North Carolina is on its way to the Sunday round two game against the winner of Stanford South Carolina State. Bill Guthridge's team 84-70 beat Missouri. For James Worthy and Spencer Tolman, this is Dick Enberg from Birmingham. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel and Clark Kellogg in.